Hello everyone, Tesla recently split its stock three times for one dollar. As a result, stock analysts and investors have a range of opinions about what will happen with the company's stock in the future. Some think that Tesla's stock may be overvalued, while others are pretty positive. Tesla stock. Over the past few months, the company has had both big wins and losses in the markets it serves. For a business to thrive, it needs a good system for increasing revenue and lowering costs and debts in the best way possible. Based on Tesla's past performance, there are reasons to think that the stock price may go down, such as rising inflation and the company's inability to meet project deadlines. However, there is also a good chance that the company's stock will do well in the coming months. But can we really expect the stock to rise despite the tough market conditions? Let's find out. Subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date on everything going on with Tesla. As a major player in the electric vehicle market, Tesla has been in the news a lot lately. Sales of electric vehicles are expected to have grown by about 105% year over year in the US and many other markets around the world. Also, after the three for one stock split, several stock analysts have raised their price targets on the stock. A look at Webb Bush Dan Ives lowered his price targets for Tesla stock from $1,000 to $300 after the stock split, saying that this was because of the expected production ramp up in Tesla's Shanghai factory. Gary Black, the founder of Future Fund, also set a $500 price target on the stock. But are these price targets realistic for Tesla? Keep watching to find out. The stock had dropped a lot in the previous months after the plant shut down in May for problems getting parts for its electric vehicles, which caused a lot of problems at the factory. Even though Tesla planned to increase output to pre-lockdown levels by mid-May, the factories could only make 200 vehicles while the problems were being fixed. Musk said that he'd assure Tesla can make a record number of electric cars by the end of the year, but that the key to that may not be in his hands and that there is no promise that the government won't put more limits on production as well. The stock price dropped even more when news came out that Musk was selling Tesla stock in August of this year. The CEO of Tesla sold 7.92 million shares worth about $6.88 billion during his recent Twitter trial. Musk later said that he was done selling Tesla stock, but no one knows what the future holds. While the stock price was falling, investors thought it would go up after events like Tesla's Battery Day in 2020, where the company showed off its newest battery technologies. Tesla announced plans to make a million-mile battery that could power an electric car for its full life on the road. The 4680 cells are expected to lower Tesla's production costs and make the process more efficient. Also, experts said that Tesla could cut the price of its current Model Y battery in half by using bigger cells and a dry coat electrode process. Since the car company is already the market leader in using lithium ion batteries in electric cars, this new range of batteries could give Tesla the tools to make high rated electric cars better than anyone else on the market. The company wants to lower the cost of its cells to $100 per kilowatt hour, which could eventually make electric cars as cheap as gas-powered cars. However, the price of the stock didn't go up much after this event, or when the American car rental company Hertz announced its huge purchase of 100,000 Tesla Model 3 cars. Tesla fans also thought that the company's stock price would go up, which it did for a short time. However, the rental company said that it would be getting 100,000 Model 3s by the end of 2022, and earlier this year, it added a Tesla model to its growing fleet of electric vehicles. Additionally, Hertz made a deal to provide 50,000 Tesla electric vehicles to Uber drivers. The company has been buying more Tesla cars, which can make the brand even more popular and allow more people to use it. However, Tesla's stock price only went up a little after the purchase. There are a number of other factors and projects that could cause the stock price to rise in the coming months. Musk said that one of Tesla's main goals for the rest of the year is to release new updates to its feature. This is likely to happen. Earlier this year, Tesla released Beta 10.69, which is a big improvement over the previous version. Soon after, the cardmaker released a new version 10.691 which also had more features. But that's not all. Musk said on Twitter that Tesla plans to release Beta 10.692 in September, saying that this next and possibly final version still needs to be polished 
and that even though it will have a lot fewer code changes, it will have a big impact on the driving experience. I think there will be improvements to the advanced driver at Sys software. Tesla also plans to send the new SPIDA version to all 100,000 testers. Musk announced that Tesla's FSD test software now costs $15,000 in North America, which is $3,000 more than it did before. What do you think about this? Let us know below. Since Battery Day in 2020, Tesla has been working to increase the production of its 4680 batteries. This is to improve its next generation of cars and reach its goal of 20 million electric vehicles by 2030. There's no doubt that this has been hard for Tesla. According to experts, the company is only halfway to its goal of successfully rolling out its 4680 cells and is having trouble scaling its dry coat electrode process. However, the electric vehicle maker is still working toward its goal of using larger cells in its cars, and experts say that Tesla will probably still be able to implement the 4680 cells dry coat electrode process next year. In other news, the car company finally seems to be on its way getting rid of its bad bond rating and becoming a blue chip, even though it has been making a lot of money from deliveries for over two years and has over $18 billion in cash on hand. Companies like S&P Global Ratings and Moody's Investor Service still rate Tesla as a junk bond, but that label seems to be going away. Credit review by Bloomberg Intelligence Joel Levington recently said that Tesla is still making a lot of money, which will eventually make these point rating companies act. He also said that he wouldn't be surprised if Tesla's investment grade rating was upgraded before the end of this year. Needless to say, this is long overdue for the sixth most valuable company in the world, and while it might not seem like a big deal to an average Tesla investor, a higher rating could mean a lot of large funds that usually won't invest in companies with anything less than an investment grade rating. With a higher rating, Tesla will be able to attract these larger funds, which could mean a lot of business for the automaker. Also, Tesla will have its second AI day later this year, and the company is likely to offer a number of interesting changes and improvements. During last year's A-Day, Tesla showed off its Dojo supercomputer, which the company said was the fastest AI training machine in the world. The company also showed off its fully biped human robot Optimus, which got many Tesla investors very excited about what the future held for this new technology. Even though the Optimus project was shown off last year, Tesla plans to finally give an update on it at its second A day later in September. This year's event was supposed to happen on August 19, which would have been exactly one year after the first AI day. However, Musk later said that the date had been pushed back to September 30, saying that this was because Tesla wanted to have a working prototype of the Optimus robot by late September. With Tesla's humanoid robot ready to go on sale, the company can make a lot more money and the expected report of the deliveries and sales for Q3 will likely be another boost for its stock price before the company's Q2 earnings were released. Wall Street expected $16.5 to $1 billion in sales and earnings of 1.81 cents per share for the quarter. This was because the fourth shutdown of the Shanghai Giga factory meant that only about 250,000 exports happened instead of the over 300,000 that were expected. Luckily, Tesla's financial report for the quarter topped expectations for both earnings and revenue. Even though it was a tough quarter, the company reported revenues of $16.94 trillion, which was $400 million more than what Wall Street expected for revenue and earnings per share of $2.27. Since Tesla was able to get through the toughest quarter of the year, most Tesla bulls are pretty optimistic about what will happen in the third quarter this year. What do you think? Let us know below and while you're here, click on one of these two videos.